Hey everyone, welcome back with another video. Today we will talk about how to reduce AWS cost in effective way and without reducing our performance. So I will share the five tips. Also, I will share the bonus tips. So the first tip is delete unused resources. This is always my recommendation and I always give this to my clients also. If you're not using Git any services, you have to delete it until or unless AWS will charge you for that. For example, you have created a EC2 instance and it attached a EBS volume and you take a backup for that as a snapshot and later on you deleted the EC2 instance then you deleted the EBS volume also but you forget to delete the snapshot and later on Amazon will charge for the snapshot because it is still a backup of the template of that and Amazon will charge for that. So you make sure that you need to delete all the resources if you're not using it and Amazon make it very easy to track all the activities of your unused resources you can use amazon cost explorer tool the second tip is choose the right instance size whenever we are deploying application and we're creating an architecture of the application we know that what kind of resources we require to deploy that applications sometimes often we choose a larger instance to make it safe but if your application workload does not require that kind of instance power it will cost you more so it is better and it is recommended by aws also to resize your instance size to reduce the cost Cost. but the problem is if you are a startup company or like you are just like doing some practice you don't know how much your application is required let's say if you have a web application or e-commerce website you don't really know that what is your traffic what is your speed up right everything you need to monitor and then you have to decide it so Amazon you can monitor but also Amazon provides Amazon trusted advisor tool that can help you to understand all the mat metrics and will give you uh, instructions and suggestions to do the improvement in your instances. So you can use Amazon trusted advisor that is also free. The third advice is choose the right type of instances. This is the best advice I always give to my client. Choose the right instance type is very important. Well Amazon provide a lot of different types of instance like on demand instance, same plan instance reserved instance spot instance and dedicated host and different types of instance type available but it depends on your application and your architecture which instance you required for example i already know that my application will be deployed on aws for more than one year so instead of using a on-demand instance i will request for reserved instance and that will save 75 percent of cost so amazon provides 75 percent discount on reserved instances another also example suppose i just have an application that doing some batch processing for just just for temporary purpose i just need a temp uh, instances I don't require a very dedicated server so like that I can use a spot instance but it is a very temporary and it is not reliable so Amazon will reclaim it again after six hours and they will give you two minutes to alerts that they are reclaiming it if you have any data you can retrieve it but it is good for some small task or some batch processing and that Amazon giving you 90% discount so depends on your workload your application architecture which you want to use and which services can help you to reduce the cost. And the fourth tip is use auto scaling group. Auto scaling allow you to adjust the number of instances you are running based on the demands. For example, you have an e-commerce website and you probably have some high traffic on some particular time and you have sometimes very low traffic and you don't use all the time all the same resources like 4 GB RAM, you don't use it. Sometimes it is like a 1 GB, sometimes it's like 8 GB. It's a very frequently. In that condition, you should configure auto scaling groups that will help you to automatically scale your application depends on the demands. The fifth tips last but not least the auto schedulers. Let's say you have a government website which is only required to available on specific period of time. During the time application will be available but off time it does not require any servers. So you can set up a auto schedulers that will automatically turn on and turn off your instances. And if you want to do that Amazon has their own service called Amazon service schedulers which is instance scheduler that help you to automatically turn on and turn off the instances and that will really help to reduce the cost in a good manner. Now let's talk about some bonus tips that will really help you for your businesses. So whenever I'm using AWS for my clients or even for my own projects, I used to set up budget alerts. Whenever I'm using AWS, I will ask my clients what is the budget and I will set on monthly basis and I got an and I can also set for the daily basis. So you will get a emails whenever the uh, budget is going up and down. 
The second tip I always give, if you can deploy your application on serverless, you can definitely have to use it because Amazon serverless deployment is one of the cost saving uh, plans. In that condition, you do really don't care about the infrastructure, you don't care about the VMs, you just care about the code that you want to execute. For example, Lambda functions. Whenever the Lambda function execute, the AWS only charge for that. Apart from that, AWS will not charge for any single money. So you have to think about how your application is designed and how you can achieve more reliable system for your instances. Last bonus tip, this is one of the important tips in entire video is to secure your AWS account and believe me or not but this is very important if you are misconfiguring your AWS account it might lead a lot of problems and anyone can spin up any services or resources and that leads unexpected charges so always implement the securities and there are a lot of best practice to how to secure AWS account if you're really interested you can comment below I will try to make on another video so if this video is really helpful please like and subscribe this channel and stay tuned with the next video